So before you watch this interview, I'm wondering, are you a bold millennial leader or someone with a passion, with a purpose, with something that you want to like unleash into the world, your uniqueness, your own vibe? Because we've created something super awesome to support people in that space. Um, we've both been through a journey of feeling really alone, of feeling disconnected, and we want to support people who are ready to really trust themselves and get themselves out there in a new way. And that's what we're here to share. Yeah, so I'm Andy. Um, nice of you to introduce me. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm Kate's partner, and uh, we founded the Unconditional Vibe Tribe. And pretty much what Kate just shared about is, um, is what it's all about. It's providing a space and a network of people that are all on a similar journey and path as you as, as a bold millennial heart-centered leader, someone who has a, a passion, a purpose, a vision, someone who wants to make a difference in this world, but knowing that can be a lonely journey too. So it's just a supportive space. You get to show up as you are. So we get to celebrate all that you are, a it's heap so of fun. fun. And um, yeah, if you'd like Thanks. to... <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to check it out, make sure you scroll to the bottom and click the link and um, come and see what it's all about. Paige got all the info. We'd love to have you part of the tribe and support you and, and just Yum. catch up and share in general. Awesome. Enjoy right. the interview. Much love. Mwah. Bye. Do it in your mind before yes. you actually do it in real life. I mean, a lot of people have a self-image that is unhealthy. For example, a person who wants to get healthy, they believe they're an overweight person or a fat person. People use the word fat a lot. Yeah. But their image of themselves, they always have this negative, unhealthy, overweight image. So it's hard for their body to know their brain, what's inside, doesn't know where they're specifically going. So it, they, right. they struggle and they find it hard and they get in these cycles of, you know, they try and get good results. But because their belief is that they're this fat, overweight person, they hold themselves back and they just can't, they can't go around to get results or any action. And they end up getting to belief again. And their belief just keeps going down and down. So my morning ritual is always with my partner and my dog. Cool. So we will work together. And the first thing we do is we get our shoes on and we start walking. We start walking around the block. And... Yeah. Whatever we're focusing on, we'll always have certain incantations. Okay. Yeah. At the moment, our incantations are things like, I get rich doing what I love. Money, abundance, love flow to me effortlessly. And we say them over and over again so that they're in our minds. Got it. And allowing yourself to be in the right mindset of doing 10 days is like easing yourself into a hot bath. When you're easing yourself into a hot bath, you've got to be gentle with yourself and pay attention to what your body is saying. So leading in, it was so important to remove things like sugar, alcohol, coffee. So thinking about what you're actually putting in your body, high water content foods is absolutely awesome. Doing a juice fast, yeah, totally, 100%, you've got to do it if you want to be a successful person. And then hydrating your brain to have people educated more about how sugar affects your body, your brain, your success. And there, there's, all, there's ways. There's ways that you can be giving yourself the lift and the enjoyment that sugar can give you. There's so many different alternatives. Mm. You know, you've got fruit, you've got agave, you've got all these natural, more natural sweeteners. Mm.